you might be asking yourself, why is Skeletor cosplaying as Darth Vader? Because it's Phantom Star Killer number one. Yes, that's a terrible answer. Terrible, terrible answer. But it's just basically how it is. This looks like a comic that came out of a middle schooler's sketchbook, notebook, drawing it in his textbook while his teacher's talking. And it is a unapologetically entertaining comic that doesn't have any pretense of being some, you know, some, you know, enlightening story about the troubles of you know, the humanity and dealing with, you know, whatever, whatever higher concepts a lot of people like to insert in their comics. This is just action schlock. In the same vein of the canon films, Golan and Globus or Roger Corman, it has one goal, entertain, and it does this. The arting, the art, the writing and the art, the arting on this comic is fantastic. Uh, art is by Joseph Schmalky, who also does the cover, which is something I've, I'll get to in a second, but the created by, written, and colored uh, Richard, uh, sorry, Peter Gorrell, and the richness of the art is very sp well spread out. It's, it doesn't have a thin. Let's not draw any backgrounds. Let's not just show like you know character mood and setting like where they like. It's very moody comics. It's kind of spooky, and I like that because he's a space school and who has uh, a lightsaber and a cloak, and so he does look like a mix between Skeletor and Darth Vader. And the attempt to replicate that 80s-style comic, like the newsprint, the faux newsprint on it, is glossy stock, card, card stock cover, glossy stock interior, but it's heavy stock. It's not that real thin stuff. It feels great in your hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart or anything that it's going to... Uh, warp the the cover is going to warp from you're just a standard body heat from coming from your fingers and or the oils. It is a beautifully pa beautifully packaged comic, straightforward action. They're you know technically teen to a mature because there are people's heads getting blown up and people getting blown up in general and sliced up and all that kind of stuff you'd expect. Uh, it's a pretty much done in one story. There are you know it does. Set something up, something's accomplished, boom, done. They're not dealing with epic cliffhangers or something. How will he'll get out of this one? You know, none of that. Uh, but though one of the main reasons I liked it, because, uh, well, got interest in it, was that the cover, the main cover, is done by the interior artist, which is something that rarely happens these days, it seems. I'm just exaggerating that part. But so many comics get a ringer artist, a better name artist to do the cover, that looks nothing like the interior art, but the interior art is the same as the cover art. Uh, you know, different tone, of course, is not just standing there the entire time in the comic, like something out of a Death Dealer, but uh, yeah, this comic, it, it reads <laughs> it, it reads like a 80s throwback, and that's what it is, and it works. And apparently there's an action figure from 2019 out there, too. One of those little reaction-style figures that have that Kenner early Kenner Star Wars deal going on, which I know a lot of people like. I This one actually looks kind of fun, because it's not something I know. It's not Rocketeer. It's not Aliens. It's not something on those lines. It's something new, and I could dig. So thank you for listening and watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.